Hey YouTube, this is Minister Paul, the Watchman on the Wall in NorCal, MP 130.19. I'm really shocked right now, which is hard to do for me, so I apologize if I go back and forth and rabble a little bit. I got to put out some information that is literally like my mind is blowed. I have this feeling of intense, uh, intenseness upon me, like, man, the time is now, like, there, there's something I'm supposed to be saying, uh, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. So keep me in prayer. Let's like and share this video. Let's get this message out. I mean, it has begun. And every day is just another mind-blowing revelation. I, I'm just waiting for something major to happen. Let me, let me stay focused on this. Thank you for listening. So yesterday I'm making this video about this mysterious uh, NASA X-37 space vehicle and how I was shown it's up there to create some type of space war and ultimately the United States would be destroyed. And then this morning, that was 129, this morning I come out here on 130 and this article is hit the dredge. Military space plane wings past 500 days on mystery mission. So it's on its 500th day We'll, we'll go to the article here. It, it's on its 500th day, on its fifth mission, and it was launched from pad 39. Well, I've been, the Lord has been showing me this triangulation in New York of the United Nations. Just start tying all this together now. The United Nations was in this triangle. Trump Tower was in this triangle. And uh, remember that. It was Mexico in that triangle. Right in the middle was this pod 39 in New York. Pod 39, New York. Now, this thing that I've been focusing on and led to focus on was launched from pad 39. Look, in Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Now, why am I mentioning this? Well, there's just, this should blow your mind. This, this, this is impossible to be some type of coincidence my dad worked at kennedy space center on pad 39 it was 39b and i kept wondering how this tied in he worked for nasa uh, for contracted to nasa through lockheed and this, just look at some of the numbers on here it also mentions the shriver air force base uh, which is actually i checked it's in colorado so it has these flight, it has these flight durations, April 22nd and all these things, but it's still up there right now and on its 500th day. I mean, you just simply cannot make this stuff up. And we were talking about the black budget, right? We're, we're talking about the black budget and the CIA involvement. And this thing is just all tied together like a knot. So if we go back to this video here, it's a whole nother subject. <laughs> I was talking about, what's the date on this? January 11th, 2019. I was saying all signs point to a major event and the government wants to speed it up. And you know what this is about? This is about how the CIA is bankrolled to modify the weather. That's what this entire video is about. Here are three major links I reference. CIA wants to manipulate weather. Now, now watch this tie-in. If you go back to Drudge, I'm telling you my mind is racing a mile a minute because something's about to happen. If you go back to Drudge, the top story is this power outage and this extreme cold. And they're talking about Chicago on blast. I'm just going to keep my feelings and opinions out of it because my mind's about ready to just blow up. Midwest feels like my, minus 75. So this is all tying in because look what I was studying last night. A, a dream I had from October 15, 2012. My dream. I'm monitoring an earthquake data at the Chinese consulate in Chicago when unidentified flying objects appear. 
I mean, this video was so long ago, it has like seven likes and less than a thousand views. October 16th, 2012. Again, tying in to today's news. I mean, what I'm talking about in this dream is incredible. I'm working at a Chinese consulate in Chicago and I'm out on the patio. I'll explain it real quick and I'll put a link to it. And I have three different monitoring devices. One monitors radiation, one monitors for earthquake, and the other one monitors the weather. I believe that's right. Let me see. It's not going to play nice. I'm just going to put a link to this. I don't have time for all this. And what happens is this big satellite. So I'm, I'm working out on this ledge in Chicago. This big satellite shows up out of this dark man-made cloud and all of my detectors go off. And what it was doing, it was manipulating the weather. And my and then my radiation meter started going off. And then the earthquake one started going off. So I believe there's going to be an earthquake somewhere in the United States. A bad one. Somewhere. I, I don't know where, but Obama's from Chicago. I'm just going to say that Obama's from Chicago. So in this dream that I'm studying yesterday. Let me see it. Eight minute mark. I'm hip to all these. Uh, first thing that pops up is it. Is that a satellite? I'm hip to all these issues that YouTube tries to introduce when you have an important video. I might as well just wrap this one up. I mean, as if they're, they're, yeah, so, and they're flanked by a bomber and a jet. Is everybody with me on that? So I go, so we have it. What they did was as soon as they came out from the cloud, it, um, it's the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Satellites are coming out from this man-made cloud in Chicago. This dream was almost seven years ago. In my life, I still, over 24 hours later, cannot shake it out of my head. That's what I saw. So I, it, what they did was they were able to communicate with this entire street, electronics, even people's minds. Oh. And all power went dead, and this became gridlock as they all stopped and watched this procession come flying out of this cloud. It was bumper to bumper to bumper, and this was like eight lanes. And so it's just gridlock, and people weren't panicking. It was like they were used to it, and I'm like, what is this? So I figured I'm going to do my job. I was probably about three-quarters of the way up. I go running in. So anyway, I go running into this conference room to warn everybody. Now, some people may actually have followed this channel so long they remember this dream. But I just want to ask people out there, what is God showing us right now? Chicago weather manipulation. Seven years ago. Today, Chicago on blast. Bo I mean, just bodies. It's a sad bodies being found in the garage, frozen after uh, shoveling snow, power outages, train tracks set on fire. So, so. Power outages across Minneapolis leave thousands without heat. Extreme cold, strange, not strange natural gas system. While here in California, you know what happened? Our Pacific Gas and Electric Company officially filed for bankruptcy from the fires that we had in NorCal. You cannot make this stuff up. There's more. There's more. There's more. This this story right here on the the spacecraft. Tying in Florida, let me just give you another puzzle piece to why I think what's happening in Florida. I have a dream on here somewhere down the line, I don't know where, where I had this dream that the, 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 the military and the government faked an alien invasion. And remember what I've always said, it started in Florida. This is from years ago. It started in Florida and it came up through uh, Puerto Rico and Florida in that area and they called a national emergency because they said we were being uh, invaded by aliens and it caused a nationwide panic and then a worldwide panic. But what had happened really was the rapture had occurred. Are you kidding me with this Pad 39 stuff and, and this New York tie-in? And in closing, I'll just show you it, it, the CIA. It did this. These are warning dreams. 
Warning dreams that are prophetic are to warn people of things that are going to happen. And now all of these 2012 dreams are all occurring all at once. And it's not just me. I had a three-way conversation last night. It's happening with God's messengers all across the world. The, the, these, these fulfillments are just going boom, boom, boom. We're talking yesterday to today for this article. I mean, in Chicago, I don't think I need to say any more, but I know there's more coming. I want to close with the local city here where I live. is is using this uh, tracker now on children in school where they put a bracelet on your right hand. And they use this device and they could track you everywhere. You, I think there's a picture of it on here. I'm not going to show God. no videos. I'm being very careful. But this is a tracker device to track kids while in school. They they put a tracking bracelet on your head. It's called Project Lifesaver. Through, it's coming through Folsom Police Foundation. Are we literally just become animals? Do, do you want to be tracked? This is this. You see where we're at? Just remember what the Bible said, that uh, God will allow a strong delusion. I mean, really, we are so deep into this that uh, it could happen any day. That's all I'm going to say. In obedience, I share another message that I hadn't planned to make, and I will continue to share as, uh, as I receive more. Comments? Thoughts?